this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the AirLife SunStim Plus Nerve Stimulator. In the box, you will receive the SunStim unit, a 9 volt alkaline battery, stim ball electrodes, and extension lead wires. If you remove the battery door inside, you have the option to toggle between 50 and 100 Hz. The nerve stimulators are preset at 100 Hz. On the side of the unit, you have your control knob. It is numbered from 0 to 10, and this is what you use to adjust the stimulation current, which ranges from 0 to 70 milliamps. When the nerve stimulator is turned on, the battery light is green. When it turns yellow, that is your indicator that the battery must be changed. At the top of the nerve stimulator, you have your connectors. Red is positive, this will be your proximal lead, black is negative, and this will be your distal lead. With the SunStim Plus, you have four modes of stimuli. When you click on any of them, in this case train of four, you will see the pulse setting flash yellow and hear an audible click with each output current. The different stimuli options include double burst, which produces two short sequences of 50 Hz separated by 750 milliseconds. Twitch mode produces twitch stimulation when pressed and held down, which is automatically repeated one pulse per second. You can turn it off by clicking double burst or TOF button. Tetanus mode produces a rapidly repeated stimulation when pressed and held down. And TOF is your train of four that generates four equal intensity single pulses in a period of two seconds. Be sure to reference the IFU for detailed information on each mode. Prior to use, make sure to read and understand provided instructions for use, check condition of the nerve stimulator and provided connections for proper functioning prior to each use. The nerve stimulator and all accessories must be visually inspected at regular intervals for any material degradation or battery leakage. This device does not require user maintenance or service except for periodic battery replacement. In this demonstration, we will be using the ulnar nerve and the train of four function. Refer back to the instructions for use for all acceptable monitoring sites. You wanna make sure that you are not stimulating muscle, in this case, the abductor pollis. If you are stimulating the muscle, then it will contract even during deep sedation so correct electrode placement is imperative. Using an alcohol wipe, prep the area and let dry completely. If possible, before administering paralytic on a patient, it is best to get the baseline train of four as long as it's safe for the patient. For correct electrode placement, you will attach one electrode along the path of the ulnar nerve and the second about 2 cm away, preferably not in the path of the ulnar nerve. Attach the lead wires when the SunStim unit is turned off. Red is your positive connection, this will be your proximal lead. Black is negative, and this will be your distal lead. When getting the baseline train of four, you will start at one and gradually increase until four out of four contractions are registered.
in this case, my baseline would be considered number 3. You want to make note of that, and for all further assessments, you will refer back to the patient's baseline. When you reassess the patient after paralytic has been administered, you should follow your hospital protocol on the number of contractions that is needed. Should you have any questions or need additional information, please email us at info at myairlife.com. Thank you.